134 hostages still held by Hamas in difficult conditions, without human, basic humanitarian conditions. Our forces have located in recent time from a street camera in Khan Yunus footage where we can identify Shiri, Ariel and Kfir on the day they were kidnapped in, into Khan Yunus. From the footage we located, we've found that Shiri was taken hostage by Hamas with Kfir and Ariel by Hamas were taken by with a truck to the eastern part of Khan Yunus to an area called Kutaib Mujahideen. In the picture we can see Shiri and the children arriving surrounded by seven terrorists with the A terrorist already at the compound. In the video our forces have located, we can see how a number of armed terrorists force Shiri to wrap herself with a big fabric to hide the children, the red head uh, of Ariel uh, can be seen through the blanket. We can uh, presume that he is connected to Shiri with a carrier. Shiri and the children covered with a big blanket with armed terrorists around them and after a short time are being put into another vehicle taken somewhere else. Yarden Bivas, the father, was abducted by Hamas and was separated from his family. He left their home in Nir Oz first uh, amid the sound of the alarms in thinking that uh, he will be able to protect his family this way. Yarden is being held hostage by Hamas. In a video sent by uh, Hamas, we can see Hamas, uh, Yarden's difficult condition where he's so concerned about his family. From the information that we have, we fear and are very concerned about their well-being of Shiri and the children and doing every effort to obtain more information about their destiny. We will not rest until we return them home. IDF representatives have presented the footage to the Bibas family and with the information I've spoken to the family before I came here today. I ask you to respect the will of the family and their privacy in the coming hours and let them speak when they choose to do so. We continue to stay in touch with the families of the hostages and update them with every credible information that we obtain. It has been 136 days from that terrible day from with in which men, women, children, and elderly were abducted from their homes, some of them ill. Hamas has abducted innocent children and babies that couldn't speak or defend themselves. Every hostage are a whole world. The IDF and the security forces operate all the time and will continue to do so in all the efforts to bring the hostages back home. Questions? נועם גולדברג חדשות 13. אז ראינו שצה"ל ידע לאורך השבועות האחרונים להוציא את זה. אנחנו יודעים שישנם חטופים שהם הרוגים, חלקם גם... נו אבאוט סאם. Uh, of the hostages being dead, the fact that the idea that Israel does not declare uh, uh, their status at this time, is this an indication that they may be alive? We saw an elimination in Sidon, any information about that? We have committed and are committed to update the family first in every finding, and so we did with this footage, which is from the day of the kidnapping, but it does show that they arrived in Khan Yunis alive on the day uh, that they were abducted. Uh, however, we also have uh, fractions of uh, information with fear about their lives. We update the family and we have the obligation to obtain any information, any detail and do everything we can in order to return all the hostages and also the Bibas family back home. As for the strike in Lebanon, we 
באחר הצהריים גילינו this afternoon we've located an Hezbollah drone סמוך לטבריה next to Tiberias ככל הנראה חצה היום most likely has crossed and crashed next to Tiberias בתגובה in response to this action we struck מחסנים storages of weapons next to Sidon we will continue to respond decisively and offensively against the Hezbollah terror group The footage is from October 7th. Can, do you know that they are not in the hands of Hamas or in the hands of another organization? Any information? Have any assessment where they're being led to? The group I mentioned is uh, a terror group. Today Hamas holds and is responsible. All the details relating to the Bibas family, Hamas is the address to all the Israeli hostages. We have concern about their destiny. We are very concerned. Only when we have complete certainty, we will mention it and we'll update the family first, as we did today. Our role is to bring them back home. Why do you uh, publish this footage today? When did you receive it? You speak about a heavy concern. Is there, a, with all this sensitivity, is there any indication beyond, beyond what we see in the footage about their well-being? As a result of our operation in Khan Yunus and the ground operation has great meaning, uh, forces, uh, dismantled uh, cameras, and identified uh, together with the in intelligence. It happens uh, just over a few days ago. But since our operation in Khan Yunis, and within our operation in Khan Yunis, this is where it takes place, I must say that even the Nasser Hospital that we're about to end our operation there, the operation of entering the Nasser hospital is following information, even uh, low-quality information about uh, the presence of hostages or bodies there. And I can say that some of the people we arrested are involved in information about the hostages they may have held or saw, and every piece of information in addition to the fact that these are terrorists that we need to put our hands on for being responsible for October 7th, the fact that we're taking risks and we're reaching everywhere is this information or fractions of information about hostages, and so this is what we did now. Beyond that, any further information about the destiny of the family, we'll report to the family first and then to the public. We reveal to the family and then tell the public. Was there a, any sign of life from hostages? Are there any other uh, visuals of hostages that were yet to be published? There are no additional uh, videos that we haven't shown to the families and we haven't published. Uh, the principle again is family and then the rest of the public regarding information about about uh, each of the hostages, first families, and then the public. And yes, there are places where we have great concern about the lives uh, of the hostages, and we tell this to the families. We need to reflect the uh, situation it is, as it is. There is a claim of families that since the grand maneuver in the south, they get less uh, signs of life for their, from their loved ones. Are there still attempts to bring signs, such signs of life? Yes, there is uh, an attempt to do so all the time, around the clock. I know that things have happened since the last uh, deal 
following uh, reports that came in from the hostages. Uh, I know the war. We need to make an effort to do more. We know we do everything we can. The reason that we have forces right now at the Nasser Hospital, this is one of the reasons, if not the main one, of our, us entering the hospital. I wish to say a few words in English. Before that, what do you know about the group that holds the family? It's part of a terror group within Gaza. There are such... During October 7th, uh, several hostages uh, have been transferred from civilians to uh, terror groups, also the Islamic Jihad. But today, especially after the first uh, state of the deal, when Hamas took control over the hostages, we only operate against one group, the Hamas terror group. I cannot tell you each uh, hostage where he comes from. Kataid Mujahideen is the name of the group.